Hey guys, welcome back to Star Wars Battlefront 2. And last time we recorded, I think, three or four missions, and we're just gonna keep on scooting along. Kashik, first line of defense. I guess another space battle? Alright, I'm gonna stop recording. When the Separatists' invasion of Kashyyyk caught the Republic flat-footed, a detachment of the 501st was sent in to stop the bleeding until reinforcements could arrive. It was a textbook suicide mission and we knew it. As we fought our way into Kashyyyk's atmosphere, most of us believed that the only way we'd be getting off this planet was in a body bag. What situation would you have to be in where you're going to be falling in space? Like, I guess if a hole got blown in the side of the ship and he got sucked out, maybe? The droids have put up a blockade around Kashyyyk. If we're going to punch through, we'll need to weaken their forces. Pilots, focus your attacks on their support ships. Alright, and we get introduced to the V-Wing. You know, one, one of the bomber units in the game, which are good for taking out frigates and other such, uh, and other large targets. And unfortunately, I become a large target myself for all of these goddamn auto turrets. But we get a bunch of bombs. That's pretty cool. I just wish these freaking guys would stop shooting me. That'd be very much appreciated. In fact, get out of here. There we go. And normally in multiplayer, you, um,. Like, there's no real reason to take these ships out. I mean, I guess there is, because, like, if you take them out, then there's less auto turrets shooting you. Which is always a good thing. But mostly in multiplayer, you just, um, take these frigates out. Because they give you points. And it's like, whoever... Whoever... Reaches a certain point threshold before the other team wins. And I don't, I don't think I necessarily agree with that. Because it's like... Taking out these frigates should be like a reward in and of itself, because, you know, you are taking out a bunch of auto turrets on the frigates. But as it is, it's just like, these things are big, are big point bags, essentially. And that's all they amount to in multiplayer. I, I, I kind of hold that view regarding a lot of, like, the this, this space stuff, because like, a lot of the stuff in space, like, there's no point to it to take an out except for points. And, uh, if I get into a mission where, oh, it's actually one of the, uh, the banking clan ships. Or Trade Federation, whatever. Anyways. What was I saying? I don't, I don't really remember. Oh yeah, I was saying like how most most of these uh, targets in multiplayer are just there to get points from, and I don't, I don't really necessarily agree with that. And if I get into a mission where I can take out like major sh ship systems, like the oh I died, I completed the objective. Now if I could finish my thought, if I can uh, get into a mission where. I can take out major ship, ship systems, like the, the bridge and things like that. I'll, I'll sort of explain that a little bit more. Because I do have some thoughts regarding that. But I'm, not, I'm not really sure if um, the campaign even does have like those kind of missions where you, you need to take out a bunch of enemy ship systems on their capital ship. I don't know. Okay, I... By the way, this is my second time recording this, and I ran into this exact problem. I landed the ship exactly where it told me, and it's not registering. And what I ended up having to do was I had to, like, crash myself and kill myself. And I had to try it again. Wh which is kind of annoying. I don't know if it's, like, a recording thing or, or what's going on. Yeah, it's like, that's the only time I've ever run into a situation where I, I completed a mission objective and it didn't register. 
Alright, just ignore everything and head directly for their hangar bay. Because that's how pros do it. Here we go, now it registered. Make your way to their critical systems and destroy their fuel and life support systems. And this is my second time recording this, so that means I, I failed once, actually. I um I I was like dithering about and just wasting time. And I lost track of how many units I had, so And I lost that because of that. So, you know, whatever. I'm just going to ignore that auto turret. Oh, hi. Yeah, usually the auto turrets are pretty dumb. Like, they don't start shooting you until they until they recognize that you're a threat. So, like, basically, when, once you start shooting, they start shooting. They're, they're pretty stupid like that. Thankfully. I'm going to ignore you. Oh, wait, I can see through the wall. A little bit on my right side. That's interesting. Huh. Alright, I'm going to actually blow this thing up, because this thing controls the auto turrets. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah. Now if I die, it doesn't really matter, because I took out the auto turrets. Go, clone troopers, go! As for me, I'm going to heal up a little bit. Oh no, the health droid's all the way over there. Okay, never mind. Yeah. No. Heal up. Heal up. Okay, I'm good. You you go ahead and sit in that sit in that little seat, clone trooper. You're doing us proud. Damn. Well, at least I got one time bomb off on the uh, on the systems there. And just ignore everything and just dive. Oh, Jesus. There's not enough enemies. There needs to be more enemies. Alright, doesn't matter. I completed the objective. Command has an easy mission, pilot. Grab the enemy's battle plan holocron and bring it back to our hangar. Okay. I'm actually going to complete the mission this time. Oh, boy. Just ignore these guys. Ignore everything. Good job, dude. You keep on you keep on piloting those things. Come through the door, I dare you. I dare you. Alright. Later guys. Yeah. No. Damn. Alright, I'm gonna be a, a marine actually. They're a little better at boarding things than uh, than the pilots are, considering they have actual rapid-fire weapons. And missile launchers. Apparently not, actually. This is, um... This is getting to be kind of tedious. Both on my part and probably on yours, which I apologize for. I'm going to take out the auto turrets, actually. Which I thought I had already done, but apparently taking out that auto turret control does not take out the auto turrets, which is annoying. And apparently all the droids have, um, have screwed off somewhere, which is fortuitous for us. Because that allows me to steal one of their ships. We gotta run all the way over to this one. Because the, the, um... What, what's this thing called? I think it's like, um... It's the Grievous ship, obviously, but... I forget what it's called. Because they, they gave a name to it in, um, in Star Wars Galaxies, but I don't remember what it was. Belly Bob. That's what it was. Like a Belly, belly Bob 22. Oh. So that's, all, that's uh, trading this holocron. Now let's get down there and liberate Kashyyyk. 
I'm not really sure what the holocron is for, but... Holocrons are usually important, so... We'll just assume that it's important for some reason. As the 501st finally broke through the Sep blockade over Kashyyyk, I took a long look back at the battle that continued to rage over the planet, and wondered why so many had to die for a bunch of walking carpets. Then I followed my orders and turned planetward. All right. We um did not do so well that time. Kind of got our ass kicked. Which I apologize for. But anyways, on to the next mission.